I'm Sumit Gulwani from Microsoft Research Redmond. I'm going to tell you about a new feature in Excel 2013 called Flash Fill, which had its origins in Microsoft Research. Suppose you have a collection of social security numbers that you see in the first column, and you want to format them by inserting hyphens as you see in the second column. If you have hundreds and thousands of these rows, then doing it manually would be very cumbersome. A more principled way to do this would be to write an Excel macro. But if you are a non-programmer, like most Excel users, then you would be stuck. But now you can use the flash fill feature to automate this task by just the press of Control E, which is a shortcut for flash fill. The flash fill feature builds over our program synthesis technology that can generalize examples into programs. So this is the opposite of program verification methodology that is used to generate test cases from programs to expose bugs in those programs. And this has seen decades of research. But now program synthesis does the reverse. It takes test cases or examples and generates programs that are consistent with those examples. In fact, we generate a huge number of such programs, but we have efficient data structures and algorithms to compute and represent such programs. Then we use the machine learning technology to rank these programs. We take the highest ranked program and run it on all the rows in the spreadsheet to give the user the output that they desire. Now, in general, it might not be possible to learn the user's intent from just one example, as would be shown by the second scenario, where I have a bunch of medical billing codes, some of which are missing a right bracket at the end, while some of which have a right bracket. Suppose my goal is to clean this data by adding a right bracket wherever it is missing. So if I give one example, then Flashville generalizes it into a simplest program, which is to add a right bracket everywhere. Maybe this is what the user wanted. But otherwise, the user would observe that row 6 to row 10 are all incorrect, and the user can fix any one of these rows. So the moment I fix row 6, then Flashville is able to fix other similar rows accordingly. Flashville can also be used to perform complicated extraction tasks. So consider this worksheet that has a lot of customer data in the first column. So suppose my goal is to extract the constituent elements. All that I have to do is to give an example in each column and hit Control E. Flashville can also synthesize programs that have limited form of conditionals and loops, as is illustrated by this scenario where I want to generate an abbreviation. If you want to learn more about this technology, then you can look at our CSCM Research Highlights paper. You can also use this feature yourself in Excel 2013.